Hello everyone, welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, follow, comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos, also share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like, watch, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen folks, there's a link to you down below, it has a link to all of my social media. Please go down there, follow me across my social media platforms, talk to me, and I will talk right back to you. Also, my links to my YouTube pages down there as well. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages, turn on your notifications so that I post content. You folks will be in the know. And I want to thank everyone that gets involved with those links any way that they can. Now, with that said and done and put to the side, I've come to talk to you folks today about the Jets' options in free agency at wide receiver. Listen, this Jets' offense has been really bad these past couple years. I mean... It's been very putrid to watch, okay? <laughs> like, whoa, man. I feel like they could, took a couple years off my life just watching this wide receiver group or this, and this offense as a whole go out on the field and just stink it up every single week. It was like, oh, pretty bad. But here we are. We've got a new coaching staff in the building. You know, Joe Douglas is at the helm here. Uh, you know, he's pulling the switches and trying to figure things out as we continue to go forward. And I look at this wide receiver group now, and I'm saying to myself, man, there's some improvements that could be made here. Um, I'm going to start with the Jets, uh, you know, current wide receivers that are on the roster right now. Um, I'm going to start with Bashad Perryman. A lot of people hit me up and said, hey, Joe, you know, what are your thoughts about Bashad? Do you think we should keep him? He's going to free agency. How do you feel about him? Listen, I respect Bashad Perryman, but I think it's time for us to continue to move on from him. You know, if he goes on, you know, and find some other team, I wish him absolutely nothing but the best. But here... I just felt like, you know, there was a lot of drop balls. He would alligator arm a lot of balls as well. Um, there was injuries, too. He was often injured. So I'm ready to move on for him. I don't want to, you know, try to give him a, a, a big-time contract or anything like that. You know, let, let him go into free agency, and I wish him nothing but the best. Vincent Smith is another guy that I think, you know, we can move on from. Every single year, there's a lot of rah-rah about Vincent Smith that he's going to show up and show out, and it just never pans. There's just nothing from him. So, Vincent Smith, I wish him nothing but the best as well. I'd let him go into free agency and find another team. Jeff Smith is another guy as well that a lot of people are not talking about, that I'm interested in. Um, he's very intriguing. Young guy, he's 23 years old. He's an exclusive rights free agent. Um, so we can end up giving him the league minimum, and maybe that keeps him around. Uh, you look at this situation here. He's a guy, again, that when he was given the ball, we saw some flashes. He's not a number one. That's, you know, nobody's saying anything like that. But he's a guy that I feel like can be a very solid depth wide receiver. A guy that can come in at that fifth, maybe sixth spot if we keep that many wide receivers. And, uh, you know, can give us a little production from there. So Jeff Smith I would be in interested in and keeping. Um, again, on a really cheap deal. He's a guy that we can keep on the squad. I know there's a lot of people that look at Jamison Crowder as well and are talking about cutting him to save the Jets $10 million. Listen, I like Jamison Crowder a lot. I think he's a guy that we should keep around, but if we do move on from him to save that $10 million to put it somewhere else within the team, whether it be helping our offensive line or taking the money and just, you know, bettering, hell, the defense or even, you know, spending it on another wide receiver, I wouldn't necessarily cry my eyes out, but I do like Jamison and what he brought to the table for us. That's why I like to keep him around. I think arguably he was our best wide receiver last year, uh, really put on in some games, really kept us in a lot of games. Hell, you know, he, he did a lot of really great things here. So I would really like to keep Jamison Crowder around, even though, you know, I know people would like that $10 million back. We should keep him. Uh, he's a guy that's been extremely productive here. So with that said and done, you know, I want to talk about the guys now that are going to be in the market. Guys that are on other teams that are going to be, you know, hitting that free agency market and, and the targets that I think the Jets should look at. First guy on my list of, of wide receivers that are free agents is Allen Robinson. Whoa, listen. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Allen Robinson with the Bears. I think he had like 100 some catches this year, 1,200 yards. He had a bunch of TDs. Listen, if you can get this guy in the building, you got to do it. Again, the big question for me with him is how much do you pay him? You know, what is the cutoff point? Because he's going to get paid in, in this free agency market. He will. And there's going to be a lot of teams vying for his services. This guy's amazing. He does it all well. I don't think he's ever really had a great quarterback, um, you know, to, to play with under him, you know. So if you can bring him in the building, dude, because he was still able to do work, even though he's been hindered with, you know, suspect quarterback play, dude, you got to do it. Um, I don't want to break, you know, go too, too crazy. But again, Amari Cooper making that 20 million. We all know, you know, DeAndre Hopkins, I believe is making 21 million this year. You're definitely going to, you know, you're definitely going to pay out of your pocket for him for sure. 
So I like Allen Robinson. That, that to me, should be the Jets' number one target. The next guy that I like, Chris Godwin. I think Chris Godwin is amazing. To get like 800-something yards this year. Um, he's out there with Mike Evans. You know, the Bucks they just won a Super Bowl. Like, he just looks really good. We should have drafted him. Uh, we had a chance to. But Mike McCagan is such a... Woo, he was so crazy that he just picked somebody else that just busted out eventually anyway. So, that's still really... That burns me up because I was screaming about Chris Godwin and how much I liked him. But, you know, anyway, the Bucks went after him. They got him. Um, and he's done nothing but work over there. I really like what he brings to the table. Physical guy. Uh, extremely athletic. He's a great set of hands. He comes here. He's a number one wide receiver. Point blank, period. Um, so if the Jets can, can get him, I would really like to see the Jets attack and make sure that he gets in the building. Uh, you look at the situation here. Listen, Juju Smith-Schuster is another guy, too that I like as well. I know some people are really soured on him because of the dance and stuff and all that stuff, but with that stuff put to the side because it's over, I think he's a guy that can come here and be productive. Him and Sam have a connection. If Sam is the guy that we're going to move forward with, you know, we all don't know. That's still to be figured out. But if he is the guy that we move forward with, him and Juju have a connection. Juju, I think, is a very solid wide receiver in this league. Is he an elite number one? No. But he's a very good number two? Absolutely. I mean, hell, if you bring him here to the Jets, though, to be honest, he is a number one here. You know what I'm saying? So I like Juju Smith-Schuster. I like what he would bring to the table. Um, so he's a guy I think we should look at as well. Kenny Galladay is also, oh, let me tell you something. I like Kenny Galladay. Whew. Kenny Galladay in Detroit, I know this year a lot of people look at him and they go, well, Joe, you know, he was kind of hampered. He didn't necessarily have the best season. He had a hip flexor this year that really hindered his season. I understand that. But let me tell you something. Last season, he had 65 catches. I think he had like 1,190 yards and 11 TDs. This dude is ridiculous. You want to talk about a dog? Kenny Galladay is a dog. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. Kenny Galladay is a dog. I like him a lot, man. Um, so if he hits the free agency market, I'd like to see the Jets absolutely go after him as well. Next wide receiver, Curtis Samuel. Curtis Samuels, I like Curtis Samuel, man. I know, you know, there's some Jets fans that are kind of, you know, 50-50 on him, but I think he's like 5'11". He's a really shifty guy. He has 77 catches this year, 851 yards. This guy can do, do some things there in Carolina. So if he touches the free agency market, he's another guy that I think the Jets should really target. Uh, you bring him in, he's definitely going to have defenses that are going to respect him. Uh, they're going to have to respect his shiftiness and his speed, you know what I'm saying? So we can do nothing but improve, you know, here, here with him here. So I like Curtis Samuel, too. Uh, there's some honorable mentions. I really like, um, well, I, I wouldn't say really like, but I'd like, you know, the Jets to possibly take a look at Will Fuller. I know that I'm going to get some blowback about this guy. People are going to talk about the PDs. He does have injury concerns as well. I know that. But let me tell you something. If you can get Will Fuller extremely cheap, whoo, let me tell you, Will Fuller is something else. This dude is, you want to talk about speed? Whoa, I've seen him blow the doors off of defenses. I'm talking about take the top clean off you. And, whoa, there were games where I was watching with the Texans. This dude would just cook a number one corner like it was nothing, and he'd be wide open. Now, again, I know he has injury concerns, you know, and I know the PD stuff. But, again, if you can get him cheap, I would definitely like to see the Jets take a look at him. Um, and another idea that I've had, and I'm going to keep continuing to float this out there, is I think the Jets should also look at the, oppor the, the, uh, the opportunity of trading for Odell Beckham Jr., um, I know that the Browns have, you know, there's been a lot of rigmarole about Odell, but you look at the situation with their cap situation, um, you know, I know Landry's making a lot of money as well. I think, you know, you could work out a deal behind the scenes. I think that they will move Odell, and I think we'd be the perfect place for that to happen. Um, I'd love to bring in Odell Beckham Jr., you want to talk about talent, this guy's got it. I know he's coming off that ACL, but again, today in modern medicine, you know, ACLs, they don't end your career. You can continue to play with them. There's been so many guys that have torn their ACL and been able to come back and play extremely well. So I'd like, you know, for the Jets to look into that as well. So with that said, I want to thank everyone for watching. Comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. Who are some of the wide receivers that you want to go after? What are some of the things you want to see done to improve the Jets wide receiver course? So you folks have a good one. Peace.